what they're looking for because it was going on the premises of sex trafficking. They're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be underage. It was breaking news. Did he Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, a well-known rapper, entrepreneur, and cultural figure, is famous for stirring controversy with his blunt commentary. His reactions are always highly anticipated by fans and critics. Recently, leaked audio allegedly incriminating Jay-Z and Diddy in questionable activities emerged, and 50 Cent's response has once again thrust him into the spotlight. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm a little yeah. upset about it, because um, Al B. Shore just came out of his coma, and mm. I've been talking to Al, and we've been texting back and forth, and I'm just glad that he's alive to text. Oh, wow. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but when you think about Kim, I was thinking to myself the other day, Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim, was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Mm. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Okay. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left are Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Mm. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Heavy D was found dead, face down in the heart attack. Andre Harrell, heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. and. Then right after that, Al had a meeting and I was gonna meet up with him because we were in Vegas and then the next thing you know, you wanna know what they all had in common though? The survivors and the, and, and the late of Uptown Records, they were all writing tell-all books. Mm -hmm. Andre was writing a book right before he died. Heavy D was working on a book before he died. Kim Porter was working on a book before she died. And I'll be sure was working on the documentary of his life. And then he goes into a coma. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? He must be the luckiest motherfucker because it seems like everybody that worked at Uptown Records from the very beginning. So go on. Just him. I guess Al disappointed you. You know, it's, I speak for a reason. The leaked audio allegedly involving Jay-Z and Diddy, two major figures in the music industry, has sparked widespread controversy. Though the full content hasn't been revealed, rumors suggest it touches on unethical, or possibly criminal activities within the industry. Given their influence, the leak has sent shockwaves through entertainment. 50 Cent, known for his sharp commentary, reacted on social media, posting sarcastic comments and memes aimed at Jay-Z and Diddy. In one post, he hinted that the leak reveals the true nature of their business practices, questioning their integrity. When you see this bullshit ass motherfucking game fucking with people that you love, that you like, you know, that you. There's too many coincidences. Too many. You. Fuck you, honeycomb. Oh. <laughs> Stamp it. We gonna get you and your little dog too. Mm. And congratulations, young Miami. <laughs> Run as fast as Cassie did. <laughs> Has anybody asked they self 
about that shit? I mean, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are asking about <laughs> what's, what's going on with it. Is yeah, a lot of people are looking at it like that's the way the new relationship should work. What uh, to get paid? Yeah, she was getting five hundred k a month. She quit because he he dropped her down. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where they're at with it now. No, but understand this. Think about this. And there are women in this room. Why would you quit? <laughs> what the fuck is going on that two hundred and fifty thousand ain't enough? Ladies. Like fuck the fact that that, that he. I'm just saying, fuck the fact that he cut it from 500 to 200. Who the fuck gives a shit? 200K, who 250K? Who turning down 250K a month? Mm. What the fuck is going on in that relationship that 250K ain't enough? Could see some things, could see some things. That ain't worth 250K. That's got to be some dark shit. Mm. Like people are not understanding that that girl quit 250K. Mm. Four million every quarter. Well, I'm sorry, a million every quarter. <laughs> Shit. Now she was getting two million a quarter, but then she got you know, fuck you got going on. That's so deep <laughs> that it ain't worth a million a quarter. Mm. They told a story um, about Cassie one time, mm. and she was saying um, someone had asked her why she cut her hair, mm -hmm. and she was like. Uh, well, uh, Diddy said he he just liked it that way, and they said when she answered the question, it was like she was in a trance, <laughs> like she was just like, I just don't know. Diddy just said he would like my hair this way, mm -hmm. and he, <laughs> it is. They was like so in awe, like how she didn't even have a thought about it. It was just what he wanted. That's how he operates. He has people followed. He has people watched. He does all kinds of fucking. He's a fucking piece of shit. Too much money. I feel, I feel bad for the kids. Mm. Like, don't think that there are moments when I'm speaking honestly about that motherfucker that I pray that his children don't hear it. Because that's still their dad. I know mm. what it's like to have a baby with a fucked up ass motherfucker. As much as I can't stand my ex-husband, I would never want my son to feel bad about either one of us being his parent. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. I would never want that. 50 Cent's history with Jay-Z and Diddy is steeped in rivalry and competition. While his relationship with Jay-Z has remained relatively cordial at times, there's always been an underlying tension due to their competing statuses as top rappers and businessmen. His feud with Diddy has been more open often playing out through public exchanges and indirect jabs in their music and interviews. The leaked audio and 50 Cent's reaction have sparked a media frenzy, with fans and critics taking to social media, some siding with 50 Cent, while others defend Jay-Z and Diddy. This situation highlights the volatile nature of public opinion in the digital age. Oh, you were there? I was, no, I just... I remember when me and Albert talked about it because oh. Kim called him crying. She was like, I got to stop him. Yeah. yeah. She, she saved Cassie's life. So Cassie could do what she's doing right now. Right. She put it all on the line. Just a Christian can walk around sounding like an idiot doing his daddy's perp walk with pride. This is so sad. All of this means something a little different to me than it does to everybody else. How do you think Cassie's feeling about this right now, seeing her her video go viral like this? I can only imagine she's a lot more upset than I am. And for the people who didn't believe her or anything like that? Shame on them. 
you want to know what's really up in this moment? What? Mary J. Blige knows exactly what that feels like. And I go fast. I guess she liked that scar on her cheek. Damn. Cause he put the boots to her. This is this is wild. It took this. It 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 it, it took this. If the leaked audio is confirmed as authentic, it could bring serious legal consequences for Jay-Z and Diddy. Allegations of unethical behavior or potential criminal activity could lead to investigations, lawsuits, or criminal charges. The audio's authenticity is key, and experts are urging a thorough review to verify its validity and context. Ain't nobody asked how that girl's ribs felt the next day and the day after that and the day after that. They they sit there and they look at that like like when Ray Rice beat the f out of his. Ain't nobody asked how she felt the next day. Did she have any cracked ribs? Cause that nigga was kicking the f out of her, yo. Snake it with a towel on. Uh. Carisha, please. That's what you wanted. Uh. Jack, what, what is the protocol? For a woman that's getting an abusive relationship, what is she supposed to do? Well, it all depends on who the man is. Someone that's woman, uh, rich, rich with power, like like P Diddy. I wish somebody would ask why Tweet was so suicidal for so long, fucking around with Missy Elliott. You know, I'm just tired of my lying about this. Shit. Just lying. All the women that have been hurt. You know, I I remember the first time that happened to me. Took me eight weeks. Before I, I could cough without wanting to vomit to crack ribs. They beat out they, they beat everybody the same way. It's like there's a fing handbook when they sign their record deals. How to fing hurt a bitch and keep her loyal. It was so fucking like gung ho that he woke up out of his sleep to whoop her. So I love So what I would like to to do first of all, Jag, I want to say happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Fifty Cent's reaction to the leaked audio appears to be a strategic move to maintain his relevance and influence in the entertainment world. By weighing in on a hot topic involving major figures like Jay-Z and Diddy, he ensures his presence in the conversation. His knack for using controversy to generate publicity has been a key part of his career, and this instance is no different. The gay tour. <laughs> the 7th, oh, 22nd. Oh, that's not what they're calling it, Fifth. No, I thought it was because I saw it on the web. 
Didn't she say her toe was gay? What did you see on the web? No, she called it. I got called it the gay She toe. called it, but you no, can't she, call it 50. Why the, I can't? The sto- here's Come how on. the story went. The story went that um, Lady Gaga said to Kanye, uh-huh. I have a very, I have a large gay um, following and my show mm-hmm. is gay and I, and, and, you know, and don't be surprised or don't and, whatever. And what Kanye say? Me too? <laughs> oh I don't know what he said. They didn't put that part in the story. <laughs> oh, I didn't he didn't say that. that. <laughs> This is how you want to start the show, Fifth? No, nah, I'm just... I love Fifth. <laughs> this, this is how you want to start the show? I'm the greatest show on earth, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, and the funny thing is, before we got on, you were being somewhat pleasant and not really... Yeah, well, you know, you I'm pleasant. Really... I'm, I mean, just when you said it, I just thought about what I what stood out the most to me about the, the tour. About the tour, right. Like, that was shocking for her to make that statement. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, but Kanye is cool with the gay folks. Yeah. I'm, I have nothing against him, but he's cool with them. Like, he goes drops his video off to him. Like the, well, love, the, remember 808 on Heartbreaks? Where did he, where did I he am not it? playing with you, Fifth. Where did he premiere it? What, <laughs> is Ellen, it, what Ellen, are you saying? Ellen, no, what exactly it? are you saying? Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres. She went oh. there to d- premiere his video. There's plenty of people who do that, no? <sighs> who else? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't man. know where you're going with this. I no, don't know I'm just saying he's me. conscious of the gay community and he wants them to buy a CD. Do you not like Kanye 50? I don't have a problem with him. You seem you to ke- you seem to uh, be somewhat. He seems to be it, somewhat of a punching bag. No, he's to necessary. You. He's necessary. You need Kanye West and you need Fifty Cent. It's the contrast between we the yin and the yang. Yeah, it's true. But you look that at I him believe. as your yang, huh? Do you look at Fifty as your y- the the yang to your yin? <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's a good way I like to think it. I'm special. Mm-hmm. For instance, I've been nominated for thirteen Grammys, right? And I have no trophies. Mm. You know. That's why I made a statement about Taylor Swift. Like I said, if if I was actually uh, up there, that he wouldn't come take my trophy. Right. Kanye West. Mm-hmm. And Jay disagrees. Jay said nobody's scared of 50. That's what the quote was. That's yeah, but that's, was. that really, he should have addressed the guy who made him feel like a punk. Well, he had to make it clear that no one's scared of 50 Cent. Because that person was obviously making him feel like maybe he's afraid or Kanye West is afraid of 50 Cent. It wasn't 50 Cent. But and I, the public misinterprets it. Like, see, what we have, like, you know how rock and roll has punk rock? Mm-hmm. Right. You know, hip-hop has cool punk. And Jay's the coolest punk in hip-hop. <laughs> His presentation makes people decide to say, <laughs> Oh, man. You know, because he's big. He's big. Mm. And and his take on it is bigger than the actual art form. He won't actually compete. So there's points where the artist will do things to just to create a competition. Like the battling it w- has always been a part of the culture. And it doesn't happen because he just looks like in words from Slick Rick, these peasants. <laughs> Does mean that bother nothing. you? Does it bother you? No, it doesn't bother me. It's just oh. his choice. Hmm. You know, but when he has oh. to say when he has to say no one's afraid of Fifty Cent is because the public is responding to his punk presentation. It's not Fifty Cent. I don't have a problem with him. I think he was responding to you saying that that Kanye would be scared if you were on. Stand. Kanye would not take a trophy from me. Not neither Jay Z. Right. Neither one of them. What 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 would you have? What would no, we'd have had altercation right there. What would you have done if Little Mama jumped on the stage while you? Little was Mama would not jump on the Fifty Cent stage. What, what the would comfort, you do? See, that, what would you do? All of these things are happening because <laughs> they're comfortable with him. His presentation is. But you can't. He's becoming more approachable. But let's, you couldn't let's get just at be little, honest. little Mama. You look crazy. No, but Little Mama would understand that that ain't a cool space for you to just be walking on to. <laughs> like, even if you appreciate Jay Z and you enjoy him. You don't just walk on the middle of a man's stage in the set. You know what I mean? Not at a award show. Who's confused about that? The whole audience is is excited. Mm. You know, everybody would everybody would be up there if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Like But you're saying your stage would not be so comfortable for anybody. The leaked audio and the reactions it sparked have raised concerns about transparency and ethics within the music industry. If influential figures like Jay Z and Diddy are implicated in misconduct, it could lead to demands for greater oversight and reforms. Such a development could have far-reaching impacts on how business is conducted, potentially reshaping accountability for both artists and executives. In serious legal issues, on Tuesday, 50 hopped on social media and asked where Jay has been after Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by Homeland Security in connection to a sex trafficking investigation. Jay and Diddy have been friends for years, so it's possible 50 is wondering 
While Hove hasn't publicly commented on Diddy's situation, in one post, 50 shared an image of Jay's face on the side of a milk carton with missing written above the photo and another picture of the Brooklyn rap legend on a red carpet waving at the cameras. That made me think That's that crazy. he knows something. Mm. He knows something. What is he saying? What is he saying? I don't want to say nothing about Jay. You don't say nothing about Jay. Nah. Well, <laughs> you just don't. He didn't say nothing, though, Flacco, did he? No, but here's why Jay-Z needs to be worried, right? Because, so, if you've listened to Fox News this morning, right, they're saying Diddy was running like a sex cult in all these islands. Mm -hmm. And he was flying in like politicians and high, you know, from me, right, you know, and like high caliber celebrities mm -hmm. and high caliber rappers. And they was engaging in like, you feel me, you know, in, in sodomy, in sex acts, just being like, you know, just, just. You know, like how rich, rich yeah. old white dudes do when mm -hmm. they get they, you know, certain, Crazy. like they have a ball and they bring out the women, maybe. Shit like that. You can pick from type of women. Oh, this is a different type of ball, this brother. <laughs> Yeah. This ball is a little different. This ball is dangerous. Yeah, this, this ball, ball is over with. Because, you know, there's been all these allegations of him, you know, fucking with, you know what I'm saying, young, the young girls, people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, girls. with the young girls. So, but I heard niggas been fucking with underage girls for a long time. I'll be around there. Hey, at the, you know what the you remember? Ups. You know what you remember? Niggas pulling up, picking the bitches up from high school. Since then. Since then. We've yeah. been seeing it for the longest, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just on a higher level because there's a lot of money though. involved. I ain't never been that type of nigga though. Me neither, bro. No. I ain't never. All right, look, because as soon as I left high school, I ain't never thought about going to get a girl from high school. Because you probably mm -hmm. got the mindset to actually go and move a woman. Like, you can go move a chick yeah. that you actually like. As a, for a younger girl, these niggas know that they don't really want much, bro. They're not really wanting for too much. They just want to get in the car with a nigga, drive. And feel like the shit. And feel yeah. like the shit. You know they what want I'm a saying? bitch that, because the bitches that, that be young. Your age or older know what type of nigga that is. For real. Yeah. Like you really a lame pulling up to the. I might not never pull up to the school for the. I'm gonna pull up to the college out of high school. Yeah. I'm the type of nigga in high school. If I had it like that in high school, yeah. that I get me a college bitch. You know I, that it my first year. Oh, go ahead. It don't take much to move them to have them. Their mindsets ain't really yeah. there. Yeah. Just say hey and decipher and be like oh he he shouldn't even be talking to me. Every bitch back in the day I used to talk to. Right. Fan reactions to the leaked audio and 50 Cent's comments have been divided. Some appreciate his candor in calling out perceived hypocrisy, while others see it as him capitalizing on the situation. Social media is buzzing with debates, memes, and heated discussions, reflecting the split within fan communities. Leaked recordings have become common in modern controversies, often sparking public outrage or legal action. In Jay-Z and Diddy's case, the impact of the leak will depend on the content, context, and authenticity, as well as public and industry reactions. Who we'll always had an older, like yeah, somebody else. I got a nigga in college. Yeah, it's crazy stupid shit. Ass. <laughs> that nigga weak, for real. Still, now, all them niggas, we outgrew all them niggas. It sucks. All them niggas weak as shit. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Here, right, no, here, right, no. Like, cause, like, because... Like, like for those niggas, like, right? Like the 2012, like Chevy Malibu and the 18 bucks an hour job ain't moving no grown bitches. Right, right, right. But yo, you tell, tell like a high school bitch, yo, I can pick you up right. and drop you off like from school every day. Right. You feel me? Give you some, you feel me? Some like. My nigga got a car. Man, come, what? <laughs> bitch nigga, in come school on, be happy that a nigga got a car. That nigga stopped me by 7 Eleven and let me grab a couple <laughs> yeah, snacks yeah. on the way to school. Oh, that yeah, shit's yeah. crazy if you really think about it, bro. Right. For real, my right, nigga. Right, right. Hey, to all the <laughs> niggas out there, Going to pick up young girls, stop it because pussy is out here, bro, and they giving it to you and selling it to you. So you ain't gotta have no game nowadays. Cause just go get you a couple dollars. Cause most of y'all bitch ass niggas got good jobs or or got jobs. Cause just go pay for some pussy. They giving it out. They selling it. Look though. So look. Well, there are some seniors who are eighteen years old, right? So like, so, is it just yo? If she's in high school, period, even if she is 18, I'm gonna be with she's you. off limits. I'm a firm believer, bro. Yeah, if she 18, like, she off limits. I don't like to <laughs> fuck with nothing with teen in it. Yeah. Mm. It just don't sound right. Yeah. Anything around teen 18, can lie to you. 19, she yeah, facts. bro. Okay. Like, she, if she's 17, she say she 18. And you know, you know they say the shit about like 14-year-olds fucking around with 18-year-olds, 19. You know what? 
I, I'm not even going to be mad at that because they still teens. Mm. Once he changed to that 20 mm-hmm. and yeah, that, that, that team changes, mm-hmm. yeah. you out of bounds already, mm-hmm. dog. You got to get that up. Right. That's right. out of here, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get it up. Once, so once you change out of them teens, dog, you are no, and you're into you 20. You should stay out 20. of them teens. You should stay out of the teens, bro. Right, you shouldn't right. fuck with that shit no more. Right. I think it's wrong. Facts. Yo, listen, because with Diddy, though, like, there was a lot of, like, rumors, like, for years, and now the rumors are now being confirmed. So with Jay-Z, though, there was rumors that he was fucking with, like, a 15-year-old Foxy Brown. Mm. You, you feel me? So now with, like, those rumors now, like, now, I don't think Jay-Z is the type of nigga who will fuck I with I ain't going to put that on him. Yeah, but yeah. listen. It, it's been out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, just shit that's already that been out there. You feel me? It's shit that's been out there. No, right. So, like... Now, I feel like Jay-Z plays ball like more than Diddy, right? Because Diddy, like, again, man, once you niggas get rich, once you niggas get blessed by playing ball, once you stop playing ball, bro, it's, it's going to be a problem, right? So Diddy got rich off of shucking and jiving and cooning for like 20 years, right? And got on, and now he's trying to be like Brother Love and Black Power and like the Revolt Summit, and not trying to sue a multi-billion dollar company for what they own. Mm-hmm. Nigga, is you out of your mind? Cause I'll be real, bro. Cause, cause like in all this shit, like started to like uh, unravel as soon as he sued that like liquor company, right? So I personally feel like Jay Z is safe uh, until Jay Z stop playing ball, bro. You feel uh, me? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think, yeah, for sure. And yeah, then yeah. Diddy trying to win people over towards recently. Like mm-hmm. you know, he just been trying to win people over. You could tell with the love and the brother love. And then once what's the name came out? Uh, oh boy, who? Uh, Ron? Huh? No, 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 no. What's his name? About the murder. Oh yeah, Ron, right? Oh, oh, oh no, Keefy D. Keefy D. Once Keefy D just yeah. start making a lot of noise. Yeah. Keefy D. And did he know Keefy D? Know whatever the fuck he know. Mm-hmm. You know he might be putting extras. He might be scared. But like, damn, cause one thing, boop, bop, bop. Mm, these last six months, Cub been stressing. While we just been sitting back, yeah. Cub been stressing. He he knows shit, but I don't know, cause I, for the most part, damn, it's just his talent thing that. I personally wouldn't want to let go with in his drive of a hungry man I ain't never seen built. before. Yeah. You ain't never he's seen different. no nigga come how did he come hungry, yeah. starving, and build an empire is just that you gotta do right by your people. Not even cause situations come like this. I ain't We're, gonna lie, you're right. It, it's trash that the body of work will go down the right, drive because, right. because even with R. Kelly, even though he did all that, he's I guilty. fuck I with R. Kelly's love talent. The music. I love the music. Fuck not with him as a human. Yeah, but his music yeah. and the body of music he's left behind is unforgettable. Right, you know? I mean, right. If a motherfucker sits there and says anything else, you're purely just hating on good music yeah. at this just, point. Wait, wait the so even like with like in R, R, like with R. Kelly, right? So people like get it fucked up, and he never got convicted for no pedophile shit. Mm. He got convicted for for running a quote unquote sex trafficking criminal organization, right? So they're saying that R. Kelly and his team would recruit, fly bitches out, and pay them like to the fuck, mm. right? And that's illegal. So the only time that we've seen in R. Kelly and on trial. For some like pedophile sex abuse of a kid charge, and he beat it, mm. right? Like right for me, it, they it, was they was giving their kids to care. Facts. He was he was a creep for sure. Of course, but, Listen, yeah, facts. But, the, but they in, were in court, the parents. If the parents need to be prosecuted too, it always comes back. To the parents. <laughs> when motherfuckers start dissecting it, see, I that's what, actually yeah, that's all I was parents, saying. Bro. Yeah, of course, parents need to be prosecuted too. Come on, church. Because they was giving on. that man them kids, and they wanted to get on. Fuck. Yeah, now the fact they can win and make some money, too, now they double back on cash. Yeah. Come on, dog. Look at Bill Cosby, how Whoa. they let all this nigga got out. 50 Cent's influence goes beyond music. His social media presence and bold opinions make him a major voice in pop culture. By commenting on the leaked audio controversy, he shakes public opinion and steers the narrative, potentially impacting those involved. His remarks often ignite broader discussions about ethics, integrity, and accountability in the entertainment industry.
Look, look, look. And then Bro. anybody that was with Bill Cosby knew what the fuck they was doing. <laughs> you going in there with your young fine ass coming in there with that old nigga having a drink, bitch. You know what time it is. Dead homeless, so. though. <laughs> no cap. Like, if a bitch coming in. You don't want to hear that, though. If you coming in with me and you hanging out late night, mm. any bitch that's coming hanging out late night yeah. over my house. On insane crips, you know what time it is. After a certain amount of time, if you don't know what time it is, you gotta go. it's time, then you gonna know what time it is. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta go. No, bro, like, even, yeah, right? So, again, so Kelly was definitely like a creep and a pedo, right? You feel me? You know, like, just based off the stories. But what he was convicted of, bro, like, we can't put that jacket on him. Mm. You feel me? Right? Oh, you saying by technicality. <laughs> You cannot Jackie, call cuz a pedophile. No. I didn't I never heard I didn't know what he yeah. didn't get convicted for. Right? Listen, bro, bro, he got 30 years for sex trafficking. Like, come on, homie, bro. See, and that's <laughs> what I don't like. Once there's I hate it, bro, because once there's some bitches around somebody in a sexual manner, yeah. they always try to find a way to put some type of sex trafficking on it, bro. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying everybody was fucking. Mm -hmm. In that it's a blatant sense, it's right in your fucking face, bro. But they put that shit on pimps, they put that shit on anybody right, right, who dude. has something to do with it. It carries that. more time. It carries more time, bro. It makes it stick. Who you think they built that shit for? Yeah. Yeah. They know niggas is fucking with right, that right, shit. Right, right, right. Niggas, niggas ain't selling niggas drugs no more, bro. Yeah. They're niggas not putting pussy. niggas away for, for fucking bricks of heroin and cocaine no more, yeah. dog. They not. It's not the 80s. Niggas getting out for niggas, that now. Niggas getting out for that now. So they got to find a new thing to put niggas down for. What's On top next? of that, niggas yeah. sex trafficking. Yeah. You fuck. And they wish the bitch was young even when you On was first fucking with. I love, with. bro. They just want you to <laughs> just tell us that he made you do yeah. something against your will. So they can both pandering they, on They'll talk her into it, bro. Yeah. No cap. We don't even care about you. We'll pay you to come to court. Yeah, and what's you so crazy? You never heard of that? They'll pay chicks, bro, to come to fucking court that don't want to come. Like, hey, look, just come to court. We already got it written out. What you just say? Yes. Yeah. He, I would say from this. the bay. Mm -hmm. I would say from the bay to L.A. Them police right there, it's like they not playing about you. Know,